Hello, today let's solve this integral. This problem is not hard if you choose a smart way to handle it. The motivation to solve this integral is to generate three bonus questions at the end of this video, so keep watching to the end. And let's get started. Here I define this integral as i1. After you watch the bonus part, you will know why I define it as i1 instead of capital I. The first step is a key. Here I take the cosine square out for the denominator. So we can write the integral into this way. The sine square over cosine square is tangent square. And 1 over cosine square is secant square. Next, we define u equals tangent x, and then we can find du. Plug in the substitution and we got here. Then we take 1 over a out of the integral. Now we make another substitution. Plug in the substitution and we got here. Then we take all the constant out of the integral and simplify them. After plugging numbers, we got the final answer. Now let's look at the bonus part. I rank them from easy to hard. For bonus number one, how to calculate these two integrals? Here we have the sine square and the cosine square on the numerator. For bonus number two, how to solve this integral? Here we have the whole component inside the logarithm function. Finally, for bonus number three, how to solve this general case for any positive integer n as a power index, especially Wolfram alpha fails when the power index is greater or equals 2. So I will make three videos to answer the three bonus questions. For the bonus number three, I will put that video in the Wolfram fail series. Also, I will put the link under this video after the three videos are published. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and give a like.